Hey, my name is Ben. Thanks for stopping by. So today I want to show you the setup process for a transit or laser level. And I'll link to one of these in the description uh, that's very similar. Uh, basically, this is a self-leveling uh, laser level device. And it's pretty amazing what this thing can do. Uh, this one's able to shoot slope as well, which is very important for a lot of applications. If you want to create a cement slab that's sloping or something like that, you're going to want to have something that uh, can calculate slope or if you're running any pipes. That's what I do, we do quite often is need to calculate the slope for running sewer pipes or what have you. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and anchor this on the top of this tripod. You always want to move these things when they're off, obviously. You don't want to uh, have these things on at all while you're moving them around. So you'll see right on top of this particular one, we have an X and a Y axis. Basically are the directions of slope that we can calculate uh, going in either direction. So we're going to go ahead and turn this thing on and it will automatically start to level itself. Right now it's set at zero and zero so it's going to shoot a perfectly flat laser beam and that's what we want to start out as. Okay now uh, we're going to set up this uh, is the stick that reads the laser signal. You can see that right here in this red box that's what senses if the laser is hitting it or not. So we can uh, adjust this to wherever we want to on this stick. And uh, what we'll do is we're going to walk over here and establish a baseline before we calculate slope. We're going to let it shoot at zero, zero, and now it is spinning, as you can see there. So since it's spinning, we're going to go over here and establish a baseline for where it's currently shooting at. Okay. So let's go somewhere in here. Now we're just gonna, so right there is where it's at. So I gotta extend my pole up here. How's it going? Good. <laughs> no, we're, I'm videoing, but it's good. All right, so that's where it's at currently. We can also change the margins on here to be narrower or wider. That's just to select how far, how much tolerance that will have right there when it's uh, catching the beam. Okay, we're gonna leave this right here. So, uh, for shooting slope, we're going to want, it, we're working towards sloping this whole area back this way um, so that the water runs off in this direction. And I think we're gonna do that about 2% slope and uh, that just so happens to be the slope that is required for most uh, plumbing applications. A quarter inch, or two percent is about a quarter inch per foot. Very close to it. Okay, we'll grab the remote here. Now you can see right here on the remote, um, it has a laser logo here in the middle, and that's representing where the actual laser is set up. And so you imagine there's a beam spinning here and we can push any particular edge of the beam down if we want to. So since we want the slope to go back towards us, we're going to press the down arrow here and it's going to slowly change our slope on the Y axis. Okay, we're at, this thing's always a little bit hard to hit at just the right slope. And almost there. There we go. There's 2%. Okay. Now with 2% slope, let's just uh, step this off and see how many feet it is on the way here. Hmm. Let's, let's call it 18 steps. So, uh... 18 times 3 
54 times 0 0.02 would be just slightly over a foot. So we should have about a foot of drop in that length. Now that was with my uh, rough steps, but we'll see what it looks like. And the reason we go through this whole process is that uh, you don't want to end up digging your trench or whatever and then realizing after the fact that, oh, it didn't quite uh, do what I thought it was going to do. All right, so if we're at uh, four foot, um, sorry, three foot, nine inches or a little over, so we should be about a foot down from there. So we're going to have to go back down to the next bracket, I think, the next pole or whatever. Okay, so three foot nine, it's going to be right about here. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> I don't, can you see that? Hi, Havila. <laughs> it's a it's one a nice fall day out today. Okay, two foot nine from three foot nine to two foot nine. That's exactly what we calculated just by hitting it on our phone there with the rough calculator and stepping it off. So we know that our slope is set up correctly here now. And we're right on the money. It makes uh, different beeping sounds depending on if it wants you to go up or down. So right now it wants us to go down and then up and right there in the middle is where when it's a continuous beep then you have a for sure correct reading on your stick. So that's actually really good. So I need to, you can see here, I need to take down a bunch of dirt here in this middle area because we're going to get this all to slope this direction here. That's the ultimate goal. Um, but anyway, that's besides the point. So that's kind of some of the basics for how you use a laser level. So I guess one other thing I could mention is uh, if, uh, you're, if you have a pipe that is going coming towards us, but then it's going to 45 and go that direction, and then it's going to go that way, the nice thing about this is this can do all of that at the same time. So now we could actually make it slope both towards us this direction and also slope that way at the same time by changing the X axis. So I can move the X axis over and then it'll shoot that slope as well. So, and you can do all sorts of other things uh, with these things, but those are kind of the main ones. Generally, you know, you're using it at zero, zero a lot of the time just to make something really level. Like these posts, these, uh, each one of these posts, I use the laser to kind of set that. So this is a really useful tool and they've come down in price a lot. If you buy a more inexpensive one, you can get one for a few hundred dollars. <clears throat> this one, probably like eight or 10 years ago, maybe eight, seven or eight years ago. This one was like $1,600, so pretty expensive. But check the link in the description. I'll be sure to link to one that can for sure do the slopes and everything like I was talking about. Okay, here we go. Oh, I think it might go in the cornfield. Oh, you can go get it. It only went <laughs> right in the first row. Okay, I'll link to one that does the slopes in both directions. Uh, and then also to a more inexpensive one with basic features. I don't know how many of them, if most of the inexpensive ones can do slope or not, but I'll be sure to notate that on whichever one I look at. Uh, I should also mention that there are, uh, you need to be careful around the lasers and don't look directly at them when that's spinning. Uh, and then there's lots of different things that you can do that you'll find out in the manual, but that's some of the main points that I wanted to get across. So thanks a ton for watching. If this video helped you out, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe. Hold on. <laughs> hit that thumbs up button, subscribe down below for more videos just like this one. And uh, yeah, please comment if you have any thoughts or if you have any, uh, what your experience has been using a laser level or if you have any other tips be sure to share them i would love that so hit that bell icon to be notified about future videos all right thanks a ton for watching 
and we'll talk to you in the next video. What do you guys say? Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs> what else? Bye bye. I'm building a fort. You're building a fort in the middle of the yard? Wow. That looks pretty cool. I can see this little girl over here. You bye bye? Can you say it again? Say bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> and look at cats are over here hunting birds. <laughs> on the uh, I'm in the stand here, or on the bird feeder. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, <laughs> talk to you later.